Labour Shadow Foreign Secretary David Lammy has laid out what a possible Labour government's relationship with the EU would be. So, quite a bit to unpack here. He said that they would aim for a closer cooperation with the bloc on trade, security and foreign policy in order to reconnect the UK with its allies. He did rather interestingly as well call it a tarnished UK. So negotiating from a position of weakness, one would imagine. But he also stated his intentions on negotiating a defence security pact with the European Union. So what should our future relationship be with Europe? Joining me now is Janice McShane, former Labour MP, Minister for Europe, and Ben Habib, former Brexit Party MEP. Now, Dennis, I will start with you because I... Am I right in saying my, my researchers have told me you were there, were you? Did you hear Mr Lammy up close and personal? Yes, talked to him afterwards, very old friend. Right, uh, OK, well, fair enough. And uh, I said, what did you make of what he had to say? He said very, very clearly Labour's policy is no return to the single market, to the customs union, to the EU. Refighting the 2016 vote, as so many people on both sides, mainly on the Brexit side, want to do is silly. Then he just made the point, Brexit's causing this country a lot of harm. Ask the CBR, ask British Chambers of Commerce, anybody, universities. So a Labour government would start talks. He didn't have any particular proposal. He suggested a EU-UK defence and security pact, which I think will be welcome. I can in Ukraine. smell an EU army, Dennis. Oh, for heaven's sake. I mean, uh, there's been talk of that since, you know, before I was born. Mm. Churchill called for one, actually, mm. and we're still waiting for it <laughs> to happen. The Germans won't even... The Germans won't even send their tanks to fight the, uh, the Russians. So it's yes. not going to happen. No, it was a very... Uh, there are a lot of other interesting ideas in it. Some of them, I think, are necessarily difficult to right. work out. But let's see where we are in a couple of years' I'll, time. I'll return to you. I'm going to go now down to Ben Habib, former Brexit, MVP, uh, Brexit Party MVP. I think people are going to hear you chuckling a little bit there, Ben. <laughs> uh, one, of the, one of the things that got me about what David Lammy said was, you know, reconnect a tarnished UK, to your opinion. Is this what's wrong with British politics uh, at the minute? Everyone seems to dislike Britain. Uh, I think the... Analogy he used was being a diplomat sitting at a table and having to put up with slurs and slander, you know, from opposite numbers in the European Union. But he's never been a diplomat, so how he can know that is, you know, beyond me. But I mean, the issue here actually is not that Labour wants to take us back into the uh, into the EU. What Labour is going to do is deliver something much worse than becoming a full member of the EU. What Labour, if you unpack what it's saying wishes to do is to take us into dynamic alignment with the EU, if not in the single market, then effectively adopting its laws and regulations, including on agri-food, and he said it absolutely explicitly, on mm -hmm. agri-foods and, uh, and the like, so that that IRC border disappears. He's going to take us into PESCO, and absolutely an EU army is a real thing. It already has 10,000 people in a force called Frontex, which if you're a beleaguered EU member state, you'll have Frontex parked on your borders yeah. at your expense via the EU budget, looking after apparently your yeah. security. But also we're going to be opted into the permanent structured cooperation, which is the EU's alternative to NATO. And even though Germany is a shadow of its former military self, though you have to go back to pre-World War II to find Okay. Uh, you know, uh, 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 right. uh, you know, to go, to go back to that analogy, even though Germany is a weak force, PESCO is a deeply pernicious organization. It wishes right. to integrate military research, military programs, supply lines and everything else under EU control. So okay. it's not. I'll come back to you, Ben. I, I want to I wanna get one. I want to get a bit from Dennis and I'll go back subsumed. to you, Ben. OK, Ben. Dennis, you were kind of nodding, shaking your head and grunting rather <laughs> loudly during that. What, what's going on? Well, I just thought the, the idea of, of dynamic alignment, I thought Ben was going to invite me to go and be his partner on Strictly Come Dancing. That's the only dynamic alignment I've, it's a modern world, uh, I, uh, I've ever heard of. It's, Should I explain such, dynamic it's such, alignment? Such, such, you know, silliness. From Should I explain Texas, dynamic very, alignment? Very small, I think it's important very you understand small, what it is. Uh, okay. uh, Pete, Ben, if... Well, Dennis, sorry, so are, you say, are you saying you, you right, don't you. believe what Ben was saying. Is that what you're saying? Well, no, he just... Do, it, the, does the, Dennis uh, know what dynamic alignment is? Do you know well, what dynamic alignment is, Dennis? Sake, I've been working the EU dossier I think when Ben was in short... Well, what is it? I mean, he's much what, younger. What is it, Dennis? 
What is it, Dennis? There, there's talk of strategic autonomy. What is PESCO? Why is it that not a single European what government is, dynamic is prepared... Alignment? Is prepared I, I am dynamic. going to have to ask you, Dennis, what is dynamic alignment? Dynamic alignment is what it says. It's aligning policies together, which we did to stop the genocide in Rwanda, to stop the genocide in Kosovo. Okay. We're doing it no, now against... That Putin. is not dynamic alignment. Dyna yes, it dynamic is. Dynamic alignment... All right, you tell us you've got your version is of it. The, is the United Kingdom adopting laws made in Brussels, oh, no. including how those laws evolve over time. We will become a rule and law taker. Our laws will be made Patrick. abroad, but right. we won't have any Patrick, representation Patrick, in those friend. institutions. I'll come back to you, Dennis. We will become a vassal state under Labour's <laughs> okay. policy. Right, ben. That's what so, Labour wants. OK, right. So, Dennis, is that what Labour wants? You were there today. You heard David Lamy. You say that you, you both have heard two completely different things from the no, same bloke talk. No, no, well, look, David Lamy was talking about... Uh, cooperation, which Rishi Sunak wants, which everybody sensibly wants. What he also made clear, and I don't know if Ben's got the news, the EU can't make laws for us. Patrick, whisper it loud. That's what, we dy left that's the what EU. dynamic. We, it already does. Uh, it so, already uh, does uh, for uh, Northern uh, Ireland. Uh, and in order to hide the IRC border, Labour's plan, and Keir Starmer said it, he said it to Rishi Sunak when he was in ben, Belfast last week. Oh, okay. He said, I'll give you cover. Listen, oh, Dennis. He said, I'll give you cover for what you need to do. Ben. What he was saying, that was code ben. for saying, I will, ben. I will be prepared to align the entire United ben. Kingdom with EU regulations so that Northern Ireland doesn't stand out. Because yes, Northern ben. Ireland is subject to dynamic alignment. And it is subjugation of the United Kingdom. Dennis, that's what you and ben. your party wish the ben. country ben. to be delivered <laughs> into. OK. OK, this is slightly pointless. It was Boris Johnson who signed Very quick, up uh, David Frost to put the whole of Ireland under the same rules so that Northern right. Irish businesses can make money out of the EU. Your argument... All right, we've got to go. Ben, we've got to go. Ben. We've got to go. Both of you, thank you very much. I'm being told that I have said words agree to disagree. Yeah, yeah, we're all friends, really. All right, all right, that's enough. OK, right, Dennis McShane there and Ben Abib just having a massive row about the EU. I'll be back in a minute.